Hello and welcome back to Japan's Perfect Pens. Today we're going to be doing another review of a Namiki Emperor fountain pen and today's pen is the Mandarin Duck by Katsuhiko. This pen was made in 2008. The Mandarin Duck model was sold from 2007 through to 2019 so it had a long run and 12 years of production so there are quite a few of these still around and you can see it gets its name from the two mandarin ducks there towards the bottom and then it has maple leaves at the top so this namiki emperor is a rounded cap namiki emperor it's an eyedropper ebonite pen with a valve which controls whether the ink flow gets the section or not it's coated in urushi and has makie work on it, 17 centimeters long with a two-tone, 18 karat gold, size 50 giant nib. So here is the pen. There's two themes, as is quite common in the Miki. It's a plant, an animal. In this case, it's mandarin ducks and the maple. Now the technique is togedashi taka makie, which means burnished raised makie. So this is makie raised, formed into certain shapes and then burnished with charcoal to create a 3D form. As I rotate the pen here, you can see on the ducts, you can see at the top of the leaves, you can see light coming in from the side that just highlights the 3D shape that this maquille technique has. Um, you can see it especially there at the bottom on the plants just there. So there's also rayed and mother of pearl just where I was pointing. That's the flowers at the bottom. They're made of the thin layer of the inside of certain shells cut into the shape, it's stuck in place with Urushi, then in the same way as the Makia is, they burnish it with charcoal. So you can see there the flowers have this blue-green uh, highlight to them, which is the reflection of the Raiden. If we look at them here, just close in. So the Raiden's very nice, it's very eye-catching because as you rotate the pen, as you move the pen, it glitters and gleams in, in slightly different colors and things. So it's, it's very nice, it's a good effect. It's used quite sparingly here, just to make a certain highlight. You can also see a little bit there on the left um, in between some of the maple leaves. And if we just take a look at the pen close up, you can see the 3D raised macchia there at the top, the leaves having a profile from the side. And then as we move down the pen, we will be able to see the pair of mandarin ducks, which are famous in Japan as a symbol of love and fidelity and they're often given in some form as a wedding present. And rotating around we have the reeds, there's the raiden glistening in there, hard to miss the raiden. And we have the artist's signature there in red with the kokakai group to the right of it. So the central theme of course is these two ducks on the pond and above them the maple leaves. And there's this quite nice bit of texture there in the middle with the gold dust and little bits of raiden. So let's open it up. And here is the size 50 two-tone Namiki Emperor nib. This one is a broad nib. So these nibs are fabulous to write with if you've got large hands. I'm a big fan of them. It's an 18 karat gold nib. They have a very smooth write. It's very wet. The valve at the back of the pen turns the access to the section on or off. So that's how you control whether or not the ink gets through to the section. And the Mount Fuji snow cap, as you can see here, is highlighted. So, because I have quite a few Namiki Emperor reviews and each of the pens are functionally identical, what I did is I created a dedicated Namiki Emperor writing review where I wrote with three of them. So, if you check out the video with this thumbnail and this title, Namiki Emperor Fountain Pen Writing Sample and Review, then that will show you three different emperors and how they compare to writing with other pens. So I don't have to repeat the same material over and over again. But long story short, it's a pleasure to write with, although it takes some time to get used to your fingers being so far away from the paper, because the nib is such a long nib. It's not like writing with ordinary pens. So if we just get on to having a look now at the themes of the pen. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that some of the maple leaves have these gold lines on them and some don't that's the leaves that are upside down. So if you look at a Japanese maple leaf, the top of the leaf has maybe what you call the dark red lines, and then the underside of the leaf has the lighter lines. So they have a mixture of leaves that are the right way up and leaves that are upside down above them. So it's indicating sort of blowing in the wind or that sort of type of effect on the pen. And then I also like the look of the 
gold dust and those little bits of radiant that you can see. It's almost like a, a rain coming down. And then there's the birds at the bottom. You can see the ripples in the water. And you can see the layering of the pen. The reeds are in front of the water. The birds are on the water and the leaves are further back. So you have this, you know, the bottom of the pen is the closest thing towards the eye. So I like the way it's layered in terms of the visuals. It's quite cleverly done and it gives the pen a nice balance. I always talk about balance, but you have the red leaves at the top and you have the eye-catching ducts at the bottom and that little bit of rain and even below them. So there's something to look at the whole way through the pen, um, especially towards the top and towards the bottom. And for me, that's sort of consistent with it being a pen that was in production for 12 years, which by Namiki Empress standards, that's a long run. So it's clearly been a very popular pen throughout its lifetime. It's clearly sold quite well for it to have lasted so long. And also the colour scheme is nice and coherent. You've got the shades here at the bottom, the golds. At the top you've got the hint of gold, even in the red. And you've got the fairly muted mandarin ducks. Um, and it's again, it's this nice level of consistency and it lets the raiden, the pinpricks of raiden you've got there on the left, you can just see at the bottom and then the, the flowers at the bottom. It lets them really stand out and do their thing because they're the only thing on the whole pen that's slightly different colour scheme. And it is a little bit misleading because it feels like it's quite simple because it's so coherent. But this is a very technically difficult piece, as are all the Namiki Emperors. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of layering in the middle of the pen. There's a lot going on with the leaves at the top, the reeds and the ducks above them and the waters. Several different techniques going on there. And it's no surprise it takes about four months to create this pen. And overall for me, it's a well-made, consistent, well put together very easy to like Namiki Emperor. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And I look forward to seeing you next time for our next Namiki review. Thank you very much. Take care and bye-bye.